Good morning, everybody. It's coming up on 646, and we start with live Doppler radar. We are dry out there this morning, and we are warmer than we were yesterday, about 15 to 20 degrees. All this cloud cover moving our way. We'll see filtered sunshine today, so we'll call it partly sunny. Winds are going to continue to ramp up, but that'll help to drive our temperatures into the upper 40s, uh, near 50 degrees. We're in the mid-30s right now there from Acosta down in the Fremont, 36 degrees there. We're 35 in Grand Rapids, 35 in Clarksville. Our southern county is also in the mid-30s. The warmest spot is actually Muskegon with the wind coming in off Lake Michigan. Temperatures in Muskegon this morning, 45 degrees, pretty mild. That's, that's where our average high temperature should be uh, for this time of the year. Our forecast for today, partly sunny, windy, and uh, mild. Uh, we're dry during the daytime hours. We may see some night nighttime showers roll in here probably after midnight. Uh, temperatures for around uh, 48 degrees. Some of us may touch 50 from Grand Rapids to the south, and there's that southerly wind at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's what it looks like on a forecast model. You can see those wind stream lines here with that strong southerly wind. That will help to uh, push in warmer air from the south and move our temperatures almost 50 degrees. We're dry through the day, but lots of cloud cover around here. This is at 6 p.m. Watch what happens. We go through the overnight hours and this cold front gets a little bit closer. We'll see rain showers develop off to our south and west and then move into our area, it looks like. So we'll have the chance of rain showers overnight and as we go into tomorrow. There's the cold front tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And what will happen is we'll have our warmest temperatures the first part of the day because the winds will switch around to the west and then eventually northwesterly. And then we may see some uh, snow showers form during the afternoon hours as temperatures begin to drop off, especially with that northwesterly flow. If you're south and west of Grand Rapids, there could be some accumulation on grassy areas. Most of us won't see that, uh, and it's not going to be a big deal. There's not going to be a lot of rain, probably only about a quarter of an inch or less, and snow Maybe some accumulations in some areas with that northwest wind on grassy areas, and that is about it. As we get into Friday with the colder air coming across the warmer waters of Lake Michigan, we could start Friday with some lake effect snow showers, flakes or flurries, but little to no accumulation there. The only thing you have to be careful of is Thursday night going into Friday. Temperatures are going to drop below freezing, and anything on the roadways could freeze, and there could be some slippery spots for your early morning Black Friday shopping there. Otherwise, we're uh, just partly sunny to mostly cloudy there on Friday. Let's go through our super for seven day planner and point out a couple of things. Windy conditions today, dry temperatures in the upper 40s to around the 50 degree mark. And what we want to highlight here on the super seven day planner is our wind speeds. Now, these colors are uh, kind of tied to the wind speed. So when the colors get brighter and they ramp up, so will the wind speeds. This is at nine o'clock this morning. Double digit wind speeds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the day. We're looking at wind speeds out of the south at about 15 to 25 miles per hour with some gusts up around 35 or 40, especially at the lakeshore. We'll stop this at 6 p.m. So you can see as we roll through the day how things will unfold. As we go through the overnight hours, the colors kind of disappear on the map. The wind speeds come down just a little bit. Remember, the two are coordinated there. This is tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, we'll ramp the wind speeds back up. So windy today, breezy to tomorrow. So those winds tomorrow out of the northwest eventually at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So our forecast for tomorrow has high temperatures around 44 degrees, maybe some light rain showers, or maybe some snow mixing in later in the day, or some snow showers, especially south and west of Grand Rapids. It's not going to amount to a, load, a whole lot. Here's your Thanksgiving Day forecast. We're in the low 40s here at 9 a.m. with maybe some rain showers at noon or 44 degrees with a couple of rain showers. Winds start to switch coming out of the north and west at 10 to 15, maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour. And tomorrow afternoon, the temperatures are falling a little bit and there may be some snow showers mixing in by that time. By Friday, well, just be careful. Thursday night into Friday, we're down around 26 degrees, so anything on the roads could freeze. That's the only potential issue there. Otherwise, uh, some light snow showers, flakes or flurries the first part of Friday, but not much of that. Temperatures are going to be noticeably colder for Friday and right on through the weekend where we have temperatures that are generally in the 30s by that time. And look at the morning low temperatures falling into the 20s. So uh, and by the time I think uh, Tuesday is the last day of uh, November because Wednesday I think is December 1st. So boy, that sure got here fast. It's 650. Let's check traffic. Here's Rob.